Hey guys, Sea Level Reviewer here, and today I'll be doing a review on the DC Multiverse McFarlane uh, Gold Label Azrael, or as most people know this as the Nightfall version of Azrael. Um, although it's not very accurate, some of the colors are not um, accurate to the original source, it's a very, very amazing figure, in my opinion. It's, it's such a nice figure. Um, uh, so I had to pay like a little uh, resale price for it, whatever. I said I wasn't going to do it, but... I saw more reviews of this guy, and I was like, no, he looks too nice to not have. And honestly, he's probably the best Azrael figure um, that McFarlane has come with. Um, I, some people are asking for the original hooded um, red version of Azrael with the sword and the fire. Um, the, I actually wouldn't mind that neither, but I also would want him to get uh, to release a red version of this guy because this guy is very nice, very sick. And um, I saw some people complaining about the eyes being very small, and I think they're very not they're very nice in this. In my version, maybe it was just like the pa uh, some paint effects that came from manufacturing. I think this guy looks very very sick. Like I said, but yeah, let's get into the review. Alright, so I'm just gonna get an up close shot of the figure just so you can see the details on this guy. And you know, there's enough painting so you can do your own custom job. Um, I know the gloves aren't supposed to the talons aren't supposed to be um, blue like that, but you can do your own version. Um, you can do your own customizing. Todd made it so you can you know, um, easily, so you can do your own uh, more accurate version. But I think this is very, very nice on its own. And the cape is so nice. This is one of the better capes by McFarlane. Here's the back. I didn't think I'd be so impressed with this figure, but man, is it $40 worth it? I was like, mmm. Not really, but if you're an Azrael fan or a big Batman fan, I would go out and get it. I'm actually a 90s, a big DC 90s fan. So when we're getting all this stuff, I mean, majority of DC fans are love that 90s era. So yeah, um, I'm going to do a little comparison with some of the other figures that have been released. Of course, it's not the original Azrael that debuted. This is from the White Knight. Um, if you read that, that's actually a very, very great um, book. I would go out and read that, and it still continues where, like, uh, Batman becomes the Batman Beyond, which is interesting. And this is where this other Azrael came from, too. This is, like, his... This is supposed to be his version of the of the Nightfall Azrael and the White Knight um, version. It's much more armored up. And I actually like the silver one. So if you can get the silver one, I'd say that'd probably be the third best Azrael to get. And let me see if I can get this guy in here, because I also have... So yeah, here we got the other gold label, um, Azrael, back there, which is based off this version. But he's more of, um, of the New 52 Azrael, which is a completely different version from the OG. So it's a second different character, but I like him a lot, too. But that's just me. Um, I really like the Batman lore a lot. But most people are not that deep into the Batman. So, But yeah, this Nightfall one is just perfect, like I said. I'm going to get into the articulation now. So yeah, I'm going to try to get into the articulation now. Like I said, the butterfly joint works about yay high. Oops. Let's see. And the cape kind of hinders it at that point. But like I said, it's still pretty great. Um, you can still get them in some dynamic poses. Double, hi double hinged elbows as always. I think... There's a bicep cut, which is new. Um, here it is. Let me see if I can show it off. The cape kind of show, hides it off, but you can see it right there, rotating. That was very nice of him to add. And the wrists work very well. They can go 360, up and down if you wanted to. Oops. And they can go left and right. The gauntlets kind of get in the way of it at some point, but you can make it work, honestly. Um, it can do uh, splits about that well. Um, ankle rotation 360 can go up and down. The ankle pivots uh, has got, I mean, sorry, the ankle articulation has gotten so much better on the McFarland figures. Uh, toe joints that go up, kind of stuck on mine, so I'm just going to leave it as is. A split at the torso right here at mid, -tor mid torso, so you can have them looking around or slashing things. Head does go around 360 if you would like, of course. You can look about that, yay, up. Let me see if I can show that down like that and up like that much so there you go there's the articulation and here's a little size comparison with the new bane that was released uh, these two are supposed to go a little more hand-to-hand -hand together uh, in the nightfall series of course uh, azrael beats uh, batman i mean beats bane and bane beats batman is what i meant to say sorry about that 
And that's basically how the story goes. It's a very nice story. I would go out and check it out. It's one of the better Batman stories. And this guy makes his appearance. Um, like I said, hopefully we can get the red version knowing Todd. It probably will come out. Just, just it's a matter of when. And I will be right there. Hopefully it's not a gold label or an exclusive. Because those are definitely hurting my pocket. Please, Todd, stop doing those. So yeah, let me know how you feel about this review. Please uh, check out my other videos. Leave a like and subscribe bu a button. And here's Azrael taking out the trash. Just as he took out, just as Bane took out his predecessor. Oh.